Switching gears, new technology in the war on germs. The CDC estimates some 2 million people get a hospital infection every year. But now germ-fighting robots are helping reduce those numbers dramatically, apparently. Phil Keating, he is live for us at a hospital outside of Orlando. So, Phil, how effective are these robots, perhaps against measles? <laughs> Yeah, for measles, for example, they're so effective, they kill those germs, although measles is a virus typically spread through the air. However, the germs can survive on surfaces like hospital beds for a couple of hours. But it's specifically surface bacteria and spores that these UV robots really aim to attack because for vulnerable patients who come to the hospital with one thing, that's the battle because they don't want to be infected with something else. Now, these UV robots are made by companies like TrueD as well as Xenix, and what they do is they emit or pulsate UV3 rays into the room, hitting all of the surfaces in the hospital room, and UV3 rays are typically deflected by the Earth's atmosphere when they come from the sun. And so germs, bacteria, spores have absolutely no genetic defense against them. Now, the UV robots kill nearly 100% of Ebola, MRSA, bird flu, norovirus, even these anti-germ, germ-resistant superbugs, all in about an hour. Nationwide, it is an issue. You know, we know that it costs us billions of dollars every year for hospital-acquired infections. We know that. And the battle we have is to ensure that whatever is brought into the hospital is not passed to the next patient. Now, these robots aren't cheap. They do run around $100,000 per, but health care analysis says that's basically $1 per patient day at every hospital. Heather? And if it saves a patient. All right, Phil Keating, thank you. Looking good, Phil. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bill. <laughs>